Hi, my name is Dave Andrews, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the risks of overclocking a CPU. Now, the first thing that you need to know is there's a lot of benefits to overclocking a CPU. Basically, what you're doing is you're going to turn up the clock frequency on your processor, which will get you a whole lot more processing speed because the clock frequency controls how fast it uh, executes operations. So the benefit of overclocking is that you'll have uh, faster processing. However, there is a, a downside, and the main downside you're going to run into when overclocking is heat. The, the, more, uh, the more commands that you run through a processor uh, in a given length of time will equal the heat output from that processor. So what does this amount to risk-wise? It amounts to you possibly frying your uh, central processing unit by overclocking it too much. Uh, which basically uh, makes it useless. There's no going back to it once it's fried. So to avoid frying your CPU, if you do want to overclock it, is to put a cooling system in place. Now, a lot of CPUs uh, will have a heat sink and a fan sitting on top of them that comes from the factory. If, uh, if you're going to be overclocking, chances are the factory heat sink and fan are not good enough. You're going to have to get a bigger fan. You're going to have to add uh, case fans to your uh, computer to suck out all that hot air that's coming off of your, uh, your CPU. And, you know, you can move on to other types of cooling. There's even water-based cooling where you run pipes over the CPU uh, and it, you know, sort of pulls the heat off and into the water, which then gets cooled by running through the pipes. Uh, you know, so there's a lot of things that you can consider, but the main one is how are you going to keep your computer cool? since it's running at this higher, uh, higher rate. My name is Dave Andrews, and I've just talked to you about the risks of overclocking a PC.